Hi everyone, it's Lisa Joy Young and I have another tutorial for you. So I'm going to kind of stay on the under the sea theme and do a shark. And the reason I thought a shark would be a good idea is because while a lot of people can easily do dolphins, I personally think that a shark is more challenging because of its shape. But using the one stroke method, I have found a very easy way to do it and I'm going to show you that right now. So to start off this design, I'm using the um, Diamond Effects Marine Cake. And this is one of my favorite cakes because uh, what I like about it is you have the two darker colors over here that are good for things like sharks. Um, and then the lighter colors, which I like to use for dolphins. It's a little softer looking. Um, and it's, I think it's better for girls designs to have those softer colors, but this blue is amazing. It's super, super intense, almost as intense as a black. So it really takes out the need for outlines. And I really like that about this cake. You're also going to need a three quarter inch okay, flat so brush. What I did is with the last two colors, I loaded my three quarter inch brush. As you can see, I only put a little bit of that blue on about you know, a quarter of the brush because that blue is so intense. If you do half and half, it's going to kind of swallow up the lighter blue. So just only do a little bit. Now what you're going to do is with the darker blue facing out, just touch the brush to your skin like that and like that. So you have like a little mouth shape. Now going from here at an angle, do another line. Just like that. And that's the key to the shark is that their nose is going to point upwards. Maybe not so much of an angle, but upwards at an angle. And that's what gives it its shark shape. So from there, we're just going to do a sweeping motion. Just like that. Obviously, if you want the shark to be bigger, just you know, whatever size you want it to be. Now for the bottom, it's important not to sweep your brush downwards because that's going to give it a more whale-like appearance. You want to keep it pretty flat on the bottom. So pull your brush at an angle all the way through. And then fill in that light blue area. Okay, so I'm going to do a fin down here and the tail. The tail can be kind of tricky, but with practice you can get it. Um, and it's especially hard to do on myself because one stroke is really hard to do on yourself because of the angles. But starting with the brush following the line, pull the brush out and then directly up like that. And do the same on the other side. So pull it out and then have it go straight on its tips, okay? So instead of a fan-like, like the dolphins, we're going to have it kind of like a sharp U. Do two more right below that. And of course the dorsal. like that. All right. So there's the basic outline. If you're in a hurry, pop on the eyes and the gills and you'll be you done. Use a little bit of white and do the eye. This is Diamond FX white. The eye, some gills, teeth, maybe some uh, highlights. I always like to start from like a point and go out. That's how I find it easiest to outline. So as you can see, I always kind of start fat and end thin to add interest. thing you can do with the tail is give it a little um like ch a chunk of it is missing so you go down in out 
around, in, out, and it's just a small little detail that looks kind of cool. All right, so there you go. The shark's totally done, and now I'm just going to add some details around it to make it look really cool. Diamond effects white and a number six brush, and I'm going to do like splashes coming from its tail. Some bubbles. Now, if you're doing this on a, a teenage kid or an older kid or an adult ma man, um, I'd leave out these little details. Now I'm going to add some seaweed to it, and I'm going to show you a really fast, easy, and effective way to do seaweed. Um, it looks pretty cool, and it's good for any designs with like a mermaid or fish or anything like that. Um, I'm using my critter cake, the Diamond Effects critter cake, and a number 10 plaid one stroke brush and what you're going to want to do is start uh, always lead with your lighter color so that your darker color doesn't muddy it up start at an angle like this you're going to want to pull flatten your brush twist your brush so it's straight flatten it again and end in a point, just like that. And it makes the seaweed look like it's twisting and turning in the water. Do another one. And we'll do one more. Kind of going off to the side like that. Now I'm gonna use my Diamond Effects Metallic Rose. I think it's called Metallic Rose. And the orange. And I'm going to mix them together, and it makes um, a vibrant coral color. And with that, I'm going to do a couple starfish. Flick, 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 flick. Super fast, super easy way to do stars in general. Um, obviously, along with starfish. If you didn't see it on my face, it's just flick, 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 flick. That looks ridiculous because I'm like trying to do it in a mirror, but it's really, really easy. Okay. Don't ever, I mean, seriously, doing that whole bit, not, I mean, there's no reason. There's no reason to sit there and draw out your stars and color them in. That's a waste of time. Just flick your brush. It gets the same job done very quickly. So I'll do a couple more. more dots down here and there you go it's pretty quick it's a really cool little shark design with some extras and the boys really like it it's really easy and um, I don't know why but the shark always tends to impress the parents so just practice your strokes the hardest part of this design is probably going to be uh, mastering the fins getting those right